Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and this is yet again a sign related tutorial. I've already done two recent tutorials on the channel, one which involves colouring text or having multicoloured text signs and the other one is being able to run commands on signs by clicking them. They are available on my channel but in this video, we're looking at font styles or sign text styles in Minecraft. There are five different styles you can apply to signs. So here we've got uh, bold, italics, underline, and strike through. And then we have the glitch uh, text format, which is a special case, I suppose. And within this video, I'm going to be showing you how to alter some uh, the actual block data of the sign to get this to work. So the idea is, is that if I place down a sign right here, I'll be running a command like so and actually changing the text data of the sign. Now, um, this can be applied to the front and the back side of the sign, and I will go through the commands in just a moment here in a text editor so I can show you more easily what's happening in the command, but this also works for the glitch text as well. Um, so, as you can see here, we have the glitch text working also. Now, it's important to note that um, this sort of text formatting or the text styling can also work with the coloring as well. So if you compound the effects, you can get, you know, colored bold text or colored glitch text and so on. And you can also do the click events as well. But this video is just going to be focusing on the text formatting. I may put the links uh, as a pinned comment on this video if you are interested in the coloring and the commands on signs. But without further ado, let's look at these commands in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here, and we have two commands right here that I've used in this video. Now, it's important to note that um, I have actually put some of parts of these commands on separate lines so I can show you more easily. Uh, these commands will be in the description, but they will just be in one great big long string. Um, but um, also be aware that when I've been using these commands, I've been using these relative coordinates right here. So uh, the reason why these commands worked in the video is that I was literally right in the same block as the sign. But um, if you have a obscure sign or a sign that's not very easy to get to, just specify the exact block coordinates of the sign instead and this command will work in any case that you have for any sign. Um, also, this can be applied to hanging signs as well, but within this tutorial I've just been using normal signs in Minecraft. But um, the first sign right here had the multiple font styles and in this case I am altering the front text of the sign and there is a messages container with a bunch of text data objects. Now, um, this is where you get to set the font style. So each uh, text object has a text attribute, which explains itself. But each of these has a Boolean variable attached to it. So you can see here we have a bold equals true. So that turns it to bold. And then you have italics being true, underlined being true, and strike through being true. So that is how you assign them. Now you can actually, I think, compound these. So you can make bold true and underlined true to actually have both uh, text styles on at the same time which is pretty cool. But those are the attributes you need to turn on for each line of text in the sign for it to work. And obviously, if you want to do front and back text, you just have to have front text and back text with these uh, messages right here. Um, the next command down here is the uh, glitched text. So this is the... Um, it doesn't actually matter what text you put in the sign in this case, 
But um, the key word you need to use here is obfuscated, and that actually does the glitched text. So that is the attribute you have to turn on for a specific line. And yeah, uh, that's about it. And um, you only have, as I say, you only have to do small alterations to only alter the back text or um, also alter the front and the back text at the same time. So if you want to do front and back text, all you really need to do with this is um, uh, put back text data alongside it. So, for example, something like this would work. So here we have the altering of the back text and the front text at the same time. Um, if I was to copy this command and go back to the game. Now, using that altered command for front and back text, I have to use a command block because it's uh, quite a long command. But as you can see here, I can actually send, set the front and the back text at the same time using that kind of method. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this short tutorial here on sign styling. But hopefully you found this video useful. If you, if you did, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And make sure that you actually hit the notification bell if you want to stay updated with new content that's coming out. But um, have fun with these signs and um, please be aware that you can actually compound these effects. So you can do font styling coloring and all that cool stuff on signs so it, you can actually do a lot with these they're quite flexible but have a nice time everyone stay happy and healthy as always and bye bye